Hey there, thanks for watching. This is Well Behaved Wallet, where we talk about mindset, motivation, and making or saving money. I'm coming at you today with an unboxing and first impressions of a new bag that I bought, and I'm super excited to share my thoughts. And one of the main reasons that I'm doing this video is because I couldn't really find that much info about this uh, when I was searching um, on YouTube, like you do, before I purchased it. So I'm excited to share my thoughts and opinions and let you know what fits in it and kind of what it looks like from other angles. So if you're interested in that or you just want to hear more about my story and why I bought this bag, then stay tuned. Alrighty, so the bag that I purchased, let me back up. Let me say, um, kind of give you some history and the reason why I purchased this bag. So I'm a big believer in having the right tools for the job, number one, and number two, form and function. I believe in buying good things that will last rather than things you will have to replace that will fall apart. So I really try to buy for quality first. Um, and plus it's nice to have like a well-made item. I feel like um, I really have grown to appreciate good craftsmanship and good solid um, construction. So that said, I am going to a conference um, at the beginning of next month, and I love sort of the conference atmosphere and the vibe. When I worked in publishing, my very first job out of, high, out of, out of college, uh, I went to conferences all the time, and I really enjoyed it. I love that, um, that energy that you get from being with other people in your discipline. Uh, it was interesting because I worked, in, um, I worked for Pearson Education in the editorial department, and I, I worked in the computer science division. So I went to the special interest group, group for computer science, um, and they, their conference would, would move around. I think I went to like Covington, Kentucky, and then Texas. Um, but I love that conference atmosphere. So that being said, I also know that when you're on the conference floor, you're like running around, you're doing a billion different things and you're meeting people and you're excited to like, to have conversations and you wanna have like your business cards ready and be able to like hold all the swag that they give you. And it's nice to have a hands-free option. So I was looking for sort of a hands-free professional and yet still relaxed and casual kind of, um, kind of bag. Um, did I need another bag? No. Do I feel like having the right bag for the right occasion is a good thing and helps you, helps me feel more confident? Absolutely. So that's kind of what I was looking for in this. And let me show you kind of some other options that I had in my collection. Cause I was like, why don't I just shop what I already have, um, before I, you know, buy this, <laughs> buy something new. So in terms of cross bodies, I have them right here. In terms of cross bodies, I have a couple different options. This is one, this is a Charlotte Vassberg um, leather sort of um, adjustable strap crossbody. I, I love this bag, it smells divine. Um, Charlotte Vassberg is a Swedish designer. She's no longer designing bags, she now designs furniture. Um, but this bag is amazing. <laughs> I uh, was told, I was actually complimented on it by my pastor of all people. He's like, oh, that's a cool looking bag. Um, but my one really good friend was like, it kind of looks like a cow. I'm not going to tell you. She, she said it's an anatomy of a cow. And she, she was like, a part of the cow's anatomy. She's like, it's gross. But I love it. Thing is, it is not suitable for a business environment. And it does not hold everything I need it to hold. And my stuff kind of like flops around in there. It's not like held in a structured way. So that was one option that wasn't going to work for this. The other crossbody option or a bag that I can wear crossbody is my beloved Balenciaga City that I absolutely adore. Um, but again, not enough room and it's not really going to have that professional looking um, vibe that I was going for. So that was not, um, not right for this job. The third option I had that would be hands free is this um, REI backpack. Um, it is the Trail 25, so it's 25 liters. And I adore this bag for going hiking. It is perfect for outdoors. It has a little rain cover um, that zip, zips up down there. It has a sternum strap with like an emergency whistle. So this is the bag you want to be lost in the wilderness with. It's amazing. But again, not really the best option for running around a conference floor. And I didn't want to be, um, I didn't want a backpack because I don't like having my stuff where I can't see it. So, and it opens like this. It's kind of, um, kind of not the easiest to get to, especially if you want to have your stuff all ready to go. So this is an option, but not the option for this job. So that was the third option out. My normal work tote, and I will um, insert a link. I did a what's in my work bag video, and this is what I take with me to work every day. I work in marketing currently, um, and I could absolutely have used this, but part of me 
wanted to draw a line between my day job and my side hustle and what I do for fun. Although they do certainly um, intersect and feed each other and what I learned from my side hustle, I absolutely bring to work and I believe that it makes me a much more valuable employee to have a side hustle that I love, um, that's personal finance and um, YouTube. <laughs> um, but I wanted to have that sort of line of difference between what I take to work every day and what I do for fun on, my, on the side. So this option was not something I wanted to bring with me. This is a to me um, quintessential tote. And again, another option that I love, uh, watch the what's in my bag if you want to hear more about this bag. Um, I love it. It's amazing. So that said, I was looking for something that was hands-free that I could um, take with me on the conference floor and be able to like interact with people, um, yet have my stuff at the ready. So I looked at a couple different options and I thought also I'd really love to, um, to like mark this occasion with something I am in a, on a, a, a mission to get out of debt. Um, I have $13,000 left in student loan, loan, student loans, and that's all I have. Um, but I am on a mission to get out of that debt and to build up my emergency fund. So I didn't want to splash out in anything too big. That said, I also wanted to sort of commemorate the work that I'd done to get to this point. Um, so I decided to kind of invest in something. It's an investment for me, for sure. On the scale of luxury bags, it's not super huge, but it's something that I hope that, that means something to me. So I decided on this Filson Dryden tote. Let me see if it looks better like that. So this is the option that I chose. It's got these two top leather handles and it's got a top zipper as well and that's something else because I saw a lot of mes messenger bags that have that top flap that comes over the top and I didn't want that I didn't want to have to like mess with another layer I just wanted to like be able to get right into my bag uh, which is something I really appreciate in this bag so again this is a Filson Dryden briefcase and I really like that option can you hear the zipper that's what the zipper sounds like so I decided on Filson for a couple reasons. Um, number one, when I think of Filson, I think of quality, heritage, construction, solid, timeless value, um, rugged yet stylized. Um, so these are all um, adjectives that I really appreciated and that I, I was looking for in this bag that I was going to purchase. Um, so that's what made me decide on the brand. And also they were the only, one of the only few like briefcasey styles that um, that had this opening. I just love that sound. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of a good cross between something that's that's neat and presentable and yet a little bit rugged, right? It looks like you could go like on an African safari with this as well. You're like at home doing presentations and yet also on the, the veldt or the African plains, right? So that's one of the reasons why I chose this, ended up with this one. Um, so I purchased this from Zappos. It was $175 and you can for sure find it cheaper on the um, on the pre-loved secondhand market although it is a newer style so I'm not I wasn't able to find it in this color um, but I'll leave a link to the Zappos um, listing um, there are two pockets on the outside and all of this you can read but it's like nice to see um, see it show up this up to this there are two pockets and there's a pocket stand up on the other side like this with um, an organizer as well. The handles are super solid. That's what they look like. And there is, and this was another super important feature. I, this was like a deal breaker for me. I had to have a pocket on the back because again, it's like you want to have, you want to have a pocket that's able to be close to your body. So you can like throw maybe your phone, your wallet, papers, whatever in there. So it's close to you. Um, and this actually, again, turned me off of all like 80% of the other bags that I looked at did not have this pocket which was critical for me there is also a loop here so you can throw the handle over your roller bag and if you have one so that's on the back the strap is pretty wide this is all made out of quarter and nylon by the way uh, Filson is really well known for their waxed canvas and had this been available in waxed canvas I would have purchased it in that but part of me wonders if um, that's why it was so cheap. So 175 for Filson is not is not expensive. Their standard briefcases go for like three to four hundred. So this is a really good deal. Um, the strap is super wide, and Filson takes some flack for their straps because their straps are made of leather usually and are super thin, and there's no shoulder pad. So this is a nice wide web uh, strap, which is super for sort of toting around. Just has your standard dog clasp. 
that's what it looks like. Um, and it adjusts in a standard way, just like that, right? So I will also show you what it looks like on me crossbody. Um, this. I am 5'9", reference, and I shortened the strap, but that's just kind of what it is, like that. Um, and I feel this, this will be perfect, and I'm really excited to use this because it's a great size, it's a great um, composition, great build, it really feels solid and steady, like you're holding an item that's going to last. Like you're going to have this, um, you're going to have this for a couple of years, if not more. Um, so let's get into what fits into it, because I was kind of interested in this as well. Um, the dimensions, I think, are 17. You can look it all up. Um, that's, I mean, that's pretty standard. There's a pattern, padded laptop, pattern, uh, laptop compartment in the back. And it fastens with a Velcro strap. I don't love Velcro. In fact, I won't buy bags that have Velcro on the outside because it's noisy and you, you don't want to be, you know, in the middle of somewhere. So it does have this padded laptop compartment, though. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, all the stuff from my work bag and see how much of it fits into the Filson comfortably. So this is, ooh, I want to say like a 16-inch laptop case holding my work laptop, and it fits no problem. Um, I have a magazine. Uh, um, my plum paper planner and a notebook. Another notebook, some pens, my well-behaved wallet, and my insulate travel wallet that I also love and can't wait to go on a trip to actually use. So I'm excited to use this at the conference. Um, what else? I also have my cosmetics pouch. And so that's that's about everything that fits. And let me see. One second. Ooh. A water bottle. Now I wouldn't take a tumbler with a straw because obviously it gets your stuff wet, but something comparable size. This is a 30 ounce, a 32 ounce tumbler. So that would also fit. It's a stretch, but it would fit. Gotta have that water. So all of this fits and zips. So it does fit, which is great. And then, what looks like this? It's a lot of stuff to haul around. And obviously, I don't think I'd be taking this much, but probably a laptop, a notebook, and a water bottle for sure. And this is perfect. Um, it's just the kind of thing, the more you use it, the better looking it will become. So I can't wait to actually use this. Um, so I'm excited to try out this bag. Again, this is a Filson Dryden. It's even got, I think, because of the laptop padding, it's got some padding on the back too, so. All right, so that is my first impression. Um, overall, super excited to use it, excited to put this to the test um, and do perhaps a review. If you're interested at all in seeing my full bag collection, I would love to share that, but only if people are interested, so let me know if that's something you are interested in. And I would look forward to doing that video. Um, and as always, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you'll keep watching. Bye.